This is amazing. What if you can integrate Taskweaver with text generation web UI? What if you can run any open source large language model locally on your computer and keep your data private? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about Task Weaver integration with text generation web UI. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do that. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. I've already covered text generation web UI step by step in another video, which I will link that in the description below. So as a quick summary, git clone text generation web UI. Next, navigate to the text generation web UI folder. Inside that, you're going to type bash start macOS.sh. If it's Windows or Linux, do that accordingly. Then hyphen hyphen API, hyphen hyphen listen, hyphen hyphen extension, and space open AI. This will activate the open AI API extension. Then click enter. You can see the API port number here that is open AI compatible. And you can view the UI in this URL. So I'm going to open this URL. I'm inside text generation web UI now. I'm going to click model. I'm going to use Orca 2. So I entered the model name and the file name, and then I'll be clicking the download button. Once the model got downloaded, in the models tab, choose the model by clicking the drop down button and click Orca 2. Model loader is llama.cpp. Next, you can click the load button and click the save settings. Then the settings will get saved. Now text generation web UI is ready to use. Now open a new terminal, keep the previous one running. Now we are going to install task weaver. I've already covered step by step on how to do this in a separate video, which I will link that in the description below. So as a summary, you git clone task weaver, navigate into that folder, then create and activate task weaver using conda and pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and click enter. Inside the VS code editor, you should be able to see the different folders and in that choose the project folder and then go to task weaver config. The API base URL is this, which we got it from here, text generation web UI log and API key is null, model is orca2 and the LLM response is text. That's it. Now go back to your terminal and type python hyphen m task weaver hyphen p dot slash project and click enter. Now we are inside task weaver. I'm going to ask create python code to print numbers one to hundred and click enter. Now this is running. We can see the initial plan, create a for loop to iterate from one to hundred, then print the current number in the loop and end the loop. Now the message is being sent to the code interpreter by the planner. You can even see the log of text generation web UI that it is generating the output, which confirms that our task weaver is using text generation web UI completely local on your computer. That is amazing. Now the code interpreter responded back to the planner with the code and also the output of execution, which is number one to hundred, which you can see that in the screen. Finally, here is a response from task weaver. The Python code to print numbers from one to hundred has been created and executed. That's it. As simple as that. I know printing a number from one to hundred is a very, very small task, but this is just to prove the point that you are able to run task weaver completely locally on your computer with a local open source large language model. One important thing to note, if there is a big task for you to do in regards to performance, chat GPT will be faster than open source or quantized as of now. Much more than that, the quality of the response will be higher in chat GPT compared to open source or quantized model. Currently, I am running a quantized version in my local computer. So keep that in mind when you start your testing. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.